This is for 2019 Panini Black Football Box number 49. Wow. Yeah. But it's funny, it's a lot of boxes, but it's 250 cards. It's five cards a box. It's not, you know, it's not wild. But it's pretty cool to think that we opened up um, 49 boxes, nearly 250 cards, and yet every one of them is numbered to 75 or less. That's right. cool. Yeah. Look at Nikki spreading the knowledge. Thanks, bud. It's important. Uh, I think we have, if you go to our website, Just Collect, I believe we have a page on 86 Clear Basketball, um, and I think it talks about some of the, uh, the counterfeiting issues with the Jordans, so check it out. So J5 says black. That's the top, right? Yeah. All right. Great. This is fun. Um, yes, we have. I think we've hit at least two one of ones, Benson. Yeah. Tomlinson and what was? No, Mikey. It was Ladanian Tomlinson. Who's James Winston? Okay, that's pretty cool. Yep. So we got a couple so far. One spot remaining for the uh, seventy-five dollar. Okay, very cool. So Isaiah, have you gone back to school and shared with your buddies, like, hey man, I found this interesting job and these guys are crazy. Um, they have more baseball cards than they've ever seen, or are you keeping it to yourself because, you know. Yeah, uh, people have been asking me, uh, what do I do? I've been, I haven't figured out what to tell them yet. <laughs> so, uh, I'm still, like, that. Tell them you drown, you're drowning in baseball cards or simply trying to help them clean up? <laughs> when I started here, I just told them I work for an EC company, <laughs> and they were all done. That's smart. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I like that. Uh, yes, I flipped. Yep, so that's card one. Okay. Good luck, all. All right. Taewon Taylor. Oh, excuse me, let me take out the uh, card savers. Oh, look at this. You guys have it set up based on what card it is? Yep. It's better than you guys. It's fantastic. All right. Folks, about 10 minutes to our really exciting 86 Fleer basketball. Set breaks going down. Uh, speaking of basketball, we did just list the other day a 1969 Tops basketball set break featuring a really nice Jabbar. Uh, it is a near mint uh, PSA 7, but it is off-center. It just isn't that off-center. It's really funky. Um, and then uh, there's also a 1969 Tops baseball set break that we just listed. This is nice. LeVar Arrington Black, numbered of 10. He's a former Penn Stater, if I think, if I remember. <clears throat> oh, DK Metcalf. Wow, that's hot. Uh, yeah, that's very cool. So, uh, the touted rookie from Seattle, numbered of 25. Nice. Check out that patch with that neon, neon, Dion green. Put that in a small two size bag and then put it in a car seat. Your two size bags in the left. Yeah, I don't need that. Yeah. He was like, I get it. You've opened a couple, but. Uh... Yeah, yeah. I've been, uh, I've been. Oh! We have a very exciting potentially card coming up. One of the hottest quarterbacks in the league. Spot four is going out to Nick M. It's a Daniel Jones, but I don't know what it is. Right. I don't know the product that well. I'm very excited. Oh, so it is a Daniel Jones, it doesn't say rookie, but I know it's his rookie. It says futuristic black. That's cool. Jersey swatch, numbered of 75. Nice. Really cool. Very nice. Yeah. Great pull, Nick. Yeah, that's really, really cool. See what this kid does on Sunday. And then lastly is Stanley Morgan Jr. rookie, numbered of 25. Really, really nice product, guys. So glad that we found this. That's awesome. To show off just a couple of these again. Wish he would add a few more letters in his name for the signature, but you know what? They didn't ask my opinion. That's really cool. Well, congrats, Steven. Oh, actually, I don't think you got Jones. You got Arrington. Well, you guys can certainly trade. If you do, just let our team know. We'll take care of you. That is a fun break. 
don't know if we have any listed on the site right now. I will check it out. Oops. Yep, we do have a brand new box. Box number 50 is on the site. So if you want to check out Panini Black Football, go right ahead. All right, folks, so I know we have uh, a bunch of people watching. We're only going to do this for uh, five minutes. We did this the other night. Um, we're going to run a 1984 Fleer Update set special. And if you spend $50, Sam, at vintagebreaks.com, you will get one 1984 Fleer Update set spot, um, maximum of two per customer. Uh, it's the same special we did the other night. Um, I'm really the only one who's authorized to do that special, which is why J5's not been authorizing it. Um, can you guys hear what you're guessing? Uh, Dallas, yeah, I'll have Sam try to help you out in a minute when he gets back to his desk. Uh, Benson, we broke 50 boxes, or we're on the 50th box of uh, 2019 Panini Black Football, which has been a really fun product for us. Now you say 84 for your update. Yep, and only... No, it's spend $50 on any spots at vintagebreaks.com. You would get one free 1984 for update set spot. If you spend 100 bucks, you'll get two free spots, but max of two per customer. So. Oh, Chris, you're good. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yep. So I know we have a bunch of folks that are tuning in for the A6 clear set break spot. I figured I'd ad lib that. And uh, I do want to mention uh, Mikey can't make it today, Dick, but he's coming back tomorrow. He texted me several times today. He'd much rather be here. I think he's got a work situation. Sounds like there were some budgetary issues and I don't know, some corporate stuff, if you will. You got it, Chris. Nick, I'd love to tell you he's at the craps table, but that's just not true. It's funny because when it was Mikey's turn to roll, he walked away. <laughs> yeah, no, he's uh, he's a little gun shy on that. Um, we do have uh, three spots left in 60 Tops Baseball Cell Second Series Pack. If we sell two more, we're going to give away the last one for free to one of the last three people who entered. Um, and same deal if we do get some traction on the 2009 Bowman Draft Box, possible Trouty. Um, I know he's gone for the rest of the season, but he'll be back better than ever, I'm sure, next year. Um, if we sell out uh, 10 spots, we'll give away the 11th for free, so we can break that tonight. Hey, Dal um, Sam, you could help Dallas. I'm not sure exactly what he was asking. Sure. Thank you. Uh, all right, great. So we're not going to start another break right now. We're just going to hang out for a minute or two um, while J5 is getting himself situated because we are going to uh, do the set break of 1986 clear basketball at the top of the hour. Um, did you guys say the 8 o'clock uh, special is filled? Or, I'm sorry, not the 8 o'clock special. The... Uh, the $75 special is filled? It's not one spot left. Oh, okay. So we will offer that when it is done. You got it. Very nice, Ray. Are you going to uh, get any of the cards graded, Ray? Are you doing it all ungraded, all graded? Just to, I'm just curious. Okay. Great, so while J5 is getting himself situated, we are going to the archive. Hopefully I don't get infected. Uh, we're going to do a $10 break credit f um, to VintageBreaks.com and a Guess That Gum. For those of you that are new, it's very simple. Uh, you cannot guess until I show the piece of gum on camera. All you need to do is guess what year it's from. And we're going to give you a $10 break credit to VintageBreaks.com. And what's even cooler is if you win, you spend that $10 before October 13th, you'll get into our gigantic Binding Spot promo totally for free. Even though we're giving you the $10, we count just the same, folks. Very nice, Ray. What kind of condition? Yeah, Benson, I already I got a, I got a stack for you, Benson. Uh, if you don't mind, um, Benson, can you email me? Because I don't want to forget uh, about those 87s, and I'll make sure that I take care of you, bud. 
Mm. All right, so that is some pretty disgusting gum. We're gonna, we're gonna do something different here. What are you doing? All right, I found a winner. All right, folks, first person to guess the year of this gum correctly, GTG style, Vintage Breaks, uh, will get a $10 break credit to VintageBreaks.com. There she is. Good luck, everybody. You know, I tried to get something without mold, but apparently it's right in the middle. Wow, they're flying in here. Let me see. All right, so some folks are close. Some folks are close, and we only got a handful of guesses. So you're in the vicinity, guys. Wrong decade bender rules. J5, you getting ready for the 86? Okay, great. Uh, I don't see a winner yet. Robert, not that far off. Just double checking. Uh, let's see. What's moving fast? Uh, whoa, Nikki V was very close. Oh, Christmas. <laughs> um, this is this is out of control here, uh, Sam. All right, so Colonel Angus, I don't know if you're the first person to get it, but it's 73. If you can help me out here, Sam. Yep. It's 73. I definitely see Colonel Angus uh, is on there. I just can't tell if anyone was before him. It moved very fast. Sure, let me, um, I'm going to scroll up. And yeah, so can you figure that out and let me know? Yep. Because it's it really, I can't even. Uh... Seventy-five dollar bonus is now full. Thank you, sir. All right, Colonel. That was seventy-three tops baseball second series. Sam's going to verify. So it's one of those where even though we've said the year, we got to verify. I can tell by Sam's face, not that he's to verify. Apparently, there's a lot of guesses. My my chat. Um... I think I can do it now. Hold on. Uh, no, I think I think someone beat Colonel. Uh, I gotta make sure. I think Ben. I think Benson did. Yeah. I think okay, great. So you see the same thing. Yeah. So I apologize, Colonel, but it is Benson, and he actually easily won it. I think Benson is uh, Dave Melcher. Okay. So Dave, that is you. You're sure it's uh, him? Yeah. Yeah. There, okay. There you go. Benson, Dave Melcher, you won. Congratulations. And if you could just take care of that, one of you guys, yeah, so that would. I forgot. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, because <laughs> yeah, I think it was a lot of uh, was a lot of guesses in a very short period of time. You know, Isaiah, I guess if you uh, guys are looking for something to do on a Friday night, get bored, like one in the morning, you know, I can give you the archive if you want. You can have some fun in the dorm, or you know, I'm not sure where you live uh, exactly, but you can do guess that gum. <laughs> Um, all right, everybody. Well, thanks very much. That was a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back a little bit later. Uh, so, Ken is asking about, um, is there a reason why we don't do the set break reveal video when the set is listed? I'm not really sure what he means by that. Oh, you mean like how we do the reveal video? 